Welcome back. We have the VP of Advancement joining us on the show from Thompson Rivers University, Christopher Sagan, and his one and a few months year old uh, son, Logan, with his backpack on today, just in case. Uh, yeah. It's almost good at this age. They're unaware. Yeah. They have no idea what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> he's very sweet, though. Uh, yeah, I know. He's, he's working out. Yeah, he is. So we're going to talk today about the Legacy Fund. Maybe uh, Logan's going to learn a few things as well. Yes. I thought I would bring my son in because uh, talking about Legacy, most people, um, they think it's just about your family. Right. Um, and some people think it's part of their careers, but it can be a mixture of things. Uh, at TRU, we're now looking at a Legacy Fund and Legacy Planning around people's planned giving. So when I pass off, Melissa and I pass off this mortar coil, the vast majority will go to this guy, right? Um, but um, a small remainder will go to create an award for um, single moms at TRU. Is that right? Yeah. So uh, today I was going to talk about the different things that you can look at giving to in your will. Okay. Let's talk about that. I there think we go. have some boards. Uh, why don't we just start with this one? But you start talking whenever you're oh, ready. Yeah. Well, okay. Impact 50 is the campaign that we're in okay. the kind of the silenter phases of, and a legacy at TRU is the theme. Part of a legacy, of course, is buildings. The Brown Family House of Learning, the Ike Barber Center, um, a lot of these uh, amazing buildings we couldn't do without people's investment. Mm -hmm. And what you're seeing before you, I think that is the new trades building, training and technology building that we'll be doing. Awesome. And this is the brand new nursing and health building that That's we're looking gorgeous. at. That's gorgeous. And again, we can't do this without um, support. And a lot of people decide to put um, capital projects and buildings in their will. And then upon their passing, or even before their passing, we do naming opportunities. Okay, and what, what about the human legacy? And human legacy is bursaries and scholarships. I mentioned that I'm creating an award for um, uh, single moms, and you can create an award for trade students, for um, students from an area, from students in an athletics program, all across our university. And the cool thing is if you endow these awards, they're put in an investment account and they grow every year, and you, they will last way, way, way after you're gone. Mm -hmm. How many people do this every year? Um, well, we have over 500 awards that we give out and we help um, close to a thousand students and that's only half of the need um, every year. And then the last portion is a legacy of knowledge and innovation. So you can invest it here you in um, research in um, grasslands, research in ecosystems, research in um, reclamation, um, in computer science and decision science. It's amazing the different areas of research that we do and you can endow funds for that as well. Mm -hmm. So in that way you're helping the earth, helping um, the community. It's a great opportunity. Mm -hmm. You know how they say sometimes that uh, half of all of the things available that you can apply for don't get used. Is that the case? No, nope. a hundred percent of what people apply for can be used at TRU. Okay. Uh, because there's such a great need for bursaries and scholarships. Um, so we find funding. If there are the odd the odd award that doesn't go out in a year, but mm -hmm. um, we we utilize every every dollar. Do you encourage people to go out and apply for this because nobody has, or you want to make sure it gets used? We um, yeah we have an open um, access policy, so there's a lot of people applying, especially for our bursaries. There's so much need around the community that uh, that there's always someone that that needs the help. He's grabbing your mic right now. So, I know. Yeah, he's, uh, he's very good, though. Uh, well, I know, and, and hopefully by the time that he's up and running, there'll be a scholarship in, say, I don't know, software engineering or something. Right. Yes. Yes. Before he becomes a space pirate. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. You have great plans for him. I hope hopefully so. Hopefully he agrees with your plans. <laughs> I doubt that will happen. <laughs> I, this is the calmest I've ever seen him in his whole life. Well, you know what? We're going to go with it. I love how he just picked up his binky and put it right in. <laughs> um, tell me this. If people want to get involved, look uh, at making a contribution or, or, or building the legacy at TRU, uh, how do they go about doing that? Uh, they can go to our website at the tru.ca slash foundation, or they can, uh, there's a call in line at 250-574-0474. Mm. All right. That's 250-574-0474. Zero four seven four, and we'll reach out and we'll let you know the different areas that you can give and there's just so many ways there's bequest there's life insurance there's there's planning and it's never too early yeah. like I know when I had him we looked at the will we rejuvenated it it's never too early to kind of start this thinking and I find when I deal with a lot of people there's a sense of relief once they've made these plans sure um, because, you know, no matter what happens, your legacy is going to live on forever. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well said. Christopher, thank you for being here today. Thank okay. you for bringing your helper. He uh, seems very agreeable. Yes, especially with Binky. <laughs> there we go. Information on the screen if you'd like to learn more. tru.ca slash foundation. We are back in two minutes. Stay with us.